Hello everyone, Morp here with the next part of our guide on showing every bobblehead location in the wasteland. Please do make sure to click like and subscribe if you do like this content, it is free. Well, let's go to part three, the Ash Heap. And we are going to be using the Mapalacha map here. There's a link down in the description to this. And these are every open world um, bobblehead, actually showing them there. Well, let's start out here with the AMS testing site. We're going to come around back here. It's a little hard to find right next to this rock right here. But you'll see it kind of laying right there. And boom. So next we're going to be going over to Bastion Park. There's actually a magazine location um, I should have showed here. Um, but uh, the first one is right here. The magazine's off to the left. But the bobblehead is right here. And there is a second one right over yonder by some dead bodies. And uh, rock and roll. So this guy is really intended for you to watch through. It is organized alphabetically so that uh, you can go down to the description and you can go right to the um, the little chapters and stuff that uh, show the actual bobblehead head you're looking for. Also for these ones I did try to make it so that I showed how to get to these places without a jetpack. Um, so rock and roll so obviously they'd be a little bit quicker for you if you do have a jetpack. Well the first one is up here on the roof you can jump down um, the front of the place, but here I'm just kind of showing how to. Ooh, never mind. This is actually the second one right in here. Right there. Okay, this next one is going to be out in the front. So you do have to go down, or you can go back around the way you came. And uh, rock and roll. Uh, yeah, do make sure to click the link in the description for the other two previously. We have the Ash Heap and Toxic Valley. And then there will be a link when it's out for the next four. So here we go with this one. And again, this one is on the roof on a building next to it, but I show the little way to get up without the jetpack right here with the stairs. Couldn't quite click that through the uh, things. You do have to go around here and rock and roll. All right, let's move on to Camden Park. There are four here. So this first one is going to be in um, a little broken down cart right past this building. This one seems to be the most common. Um, I do find it this one's either people don't know it's here or it just spawns a little bit quicker. So you got this one. The next one is going to be inside of the building with a robot where you do start the quest to start the dailies out here. You pop up right here on a filing cabinet. And the next couple, you will have to encounter some enemies, some scorched right there, and especially going on to the next path. This one is right here on a little barrel. And again, this next one, I do show how to get up here without a jetpack, otherwise you can jump right up on top. And you will notice the camera does change. These took a massive amount of server hops to get these, actually to show them all there. So this is all edited together footage and stuff. So right up here will be, this one's kind of a little tricky to see, but it's right there on the little thingamabob. Alright, well let's move on to the next one. We have Porn Right Estates. Okay, I really was intended on not showing anything with an interior, uh, but this one's technically in the open air. Uh, but this one you, you will need a key. I'm showing here at the Porn Right Estates here. You can, um, or the villa, sorry, you can go grab the key there. And then, once you have a key, you'll have it forever. You come to Hornwright States, and this one's actually up on top, like by the, the high platform up there. It's actually right above us right here. Um, so you do will, you will do have to go upstairs here. I'll show you how to get up here. Um, but yeah, in this guide, I didn't include the interiors to places. I just wanted this to be a guide mostly just for when you're when you're running around you just you know if you kind of memorize these if you watch these a few times all the different videos and you can kind of remember oh yeah wasn't there supposed to be a bobblehead right here yada yada you can just check in here so this one is not going to be commonly gone gone by but i did include it because it is in the map map that we have okay so the next is lewisburg there are two here and i do show how to go up here without a jetpack obviously it's much easier just a jetpack up here but if you didn't want to, you can go up here. There'll be one right in this little little fatima bob right there. Boom. The other one you're actually gonna just turn around and it's gonna be in a hole right back here. 
up on a uh, little shelf kind of thing, my bomb. And we are rocking right there, a desk, that's what it is. Alright, well let's move on to the next one. We have Abandoned Mineshaft 6. This one's actually by Mount Blair, but you can get there from right there. It's right where the marker was. It's just going to be a little broken down trailer over yonder. Alright, here we go. Now this next one is actually the Mount Blair train yard. Um, you, you can kind of do these in different orders. I just I did it for if you didn't have any jetpack you got to make your way up and you can kind of switch away switch around the first one I do and the second one. Uh, but you'll come up here. The uh, three of them are kind of up on top of these buildings. There's one over on the track which is going to be number two that I grab here. So you can come in here you can grab this one kind of laying on the ground. Boom. Now this next one's right down the little conveyor chute thingy. And you're gonna see it down over yonder. And these next two are actually kind of tricky to find if you don't know where they are. So this first one's gonna be up on our left, right past the big silo looking thingy. You're gonna pop in right here, you turn around, and it's gonna be right there. Now this one could be really tricky if you don't have a jetpack, but I'm assuming that it all can work here. You know, kind of hop over this pipe. And I'm, you can definitely easy to fall. This one's really hard to get. I had to go into first person every time I grab it. But it's just sitting right there. Such a weird spot to have one. Rock and roll. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Red Rocket fill, uh, Filling Station. I was assuming here that you'll be able to jump up with a, without a jetpack because I don't think they'd put anything here that you couldn't actually access. But I'm assuming that this is kind of the way that you get up here, just kind of up this little whatever doohickey that thing is, and it's right up here on the roof. All right, really, tower, bunch of random letters and stuff. Uh, this one, this one seems pretty obvious here that this is the way you're gonna get up here. A little box and a container, then a thingy, and it's right up here on the roof. Next up we got the Rollins Labor Camp. This one took like an hour to server hop to get it to load here. This one you're going to be going up on top of the big digger, or whatever the big machinery is here. You have a dead body over yonder. Well, it's not there this time. And there you go. Alright, up next we have Striker Row. There's actually two here. Maybe one inside of these, this bus here, and another in a little, I don't know what you call it, like a little mini trailer. There you got your first one. There will be some enemies here. I actually think I kill one right here. I totally do. Alright, right up inside this trailer is the last one. And there's an assault train here, so be careful. Assault trains are douches. Alright, lock picking, so let's move on to Widow's Perch. You'll be familiar with this location if you've done it encrypted. And this one I've gotten pretty regularly. When I do encrypted, sometimes I'll come over here and I find it semi-regularly. And there you go. And just so you guys do know that the physics does um, affect these. So sometimes they will be kind of just laying on the ground or when they load in, they kind of wiggle around. But anyway, I hope this all helps. Make sure to click this link for the other videos and we will see you on the Lily Slam.